Uh, wisdom ni kijana wangu ambaye ninampenda sana na uh, kwa kipindi ambaye tumefanya kazi kweli mi nimeona ni kijana mzuri ila kwenye uamuzi na maamuzi ya kufanya kazi ya Mungu inakuanga ya mtu binafsi. Kwa hivyo kama ni uamuzi wake na maamuzi ambaye amefanya ni kwa kuwa kwenda kufanya kazi mahali pengine basi siwezi nikajudge lakini mimi kama mama ambaye anapenda watoto wake naweza nikamwambia asiende mahali pengine huku kwa Yesu ndio kuna kila kitu kuna kuna chairman wa gospel uh, sijui kama ni self proclaimed lakini hivyo ndivyo anajiitaga yes anaitwa nani anaitwa gospel na anaitwa ringtone eh. yes <laughs> uh, tuko na Janet Otieno anatuambia ametoka wapi because tuko ni maeneo ya saa saba usiku ona ametoka amekuwa kwenye ndege amekuwa kwenye safari ndefu safari imekuwaaje na umetokea wapi uh, safari imekuwa mzuri sana na shukuru Mungu ame nimetokea New York uh, in the US imekuwa ni safari ndefu sana lakini sa, zaidi tumekaa ndani kwa sababu ya unajua the checking out is of uh, custom and vitu vidogo vidogo na ndege zileingia kama nyingi zile kubwa so uh, safari yangu imekuwa mzuri na shukuru Mungu okay. yes uh, New York I understand iko US uh, I mean safari ya US ilikuwa ya nini ilikuwa US tu ya music ama ilikuwa vipi a uh, US kama unajua mimi ni muhudumu nimeenda kufanya huduma kule e, nilikuwa nimefanya concerts kwa kwa churches mbali mbali na nimezifanya nyingi kwa estates kwa states kama states kadhaa ziko kadhaa kama saba au nane hivi tisa kumi around there yes okay. understand wewe ni mwanamuziki gospel artist mkubwa sana hapa Kenya uh, sisi kama fans umetuletea nini uh, ni... kuna kitu mbi umetuandalia Uh, nyinyi kama fans nimewa, nime, nimekuja kama niko na mazuri mengi sana uh, zaidi ya kama mwanamuziki of course niko na very soon utakuwa unaona wimbo mpya kama ina, inaanguka na, na zaidi ya yote nime, nimekuja nimejifunza mengi nikiwa nje ambavyo uh, nitakuwa naelezea pole pole vile tunaendelea yes okay, so fans will expect kuna ngoma mpya inakaa mama vipi yes yes kuna ngoma mpya inakaa very soon very soon nafikiri ni, ni kwa siku chache tu itakuwa ina, inakaa Yes. Okay, uh, the internet has it that uh, gospel artists imelala, I mean gospel interest imelala kidogo. Uh, what's your take on that? Uh, mimi naweza nikasema gospel uh, gospel ministry na industry haijalala. Iko vizuri sana kwa sababu kama sasa hivi unaniona nimeingia hapa ni saa saba ya usiku. Nimekuwa nje kwa zaidi ya karibia miezi miwili na nimeenda nje kwa sababu ya huduma. Kama gospel ingelikuwa imeisha na ingelikuwa imelala basi nisingekuwa hata pale nje kwa sababu hakuna mtu anaweza kukukaribisha ufanye kazi kule nje kama kazi ya Mungu kule nje kama gospel imelala mimi naweza kunikasema watu wawe makini sana kwa wale ambaye wanasema gospel imelala inategemea unasikilizia gospel gani na ni nani umekuwa ukifuata ndio usikilize gospel kwa sababu uh, pengine umekuwa uki, ukiangalia muimbaji fulani kama gospel singer wako na umeona kama tena hayuko alafu ukaanza kujudge gospel industry na ministry kupitia ule mmoja. Mimi napenda niambie huyo mtu mwenye yako pale nje change playlist yako. Angalia waimbaji wako wanafanya kazi ya Mungu usijudge gospel industry kwa sababu ya mtu wako fulani ambaye ulikuwa unaangalia mahali. Kwa hivyo gospel iko sawa sana. Tunaendelea ama unaniona nimetoka wapi? Wewe unavyoniona nimetoka US bana. Si nimetoka US. Nimeenda kufanya nini si kuenda kusikia raha kutembea na kusikia vizuri, nimeenda kufanya kazi ya Mungu. Na ni kwa sababu gospel iko hai na inaendelea vizuri sana. I hope ulisalimia Joe Biden on my behalf. Kabisa. Ndio kabisa Joe Biden nimemsalimia. Nimesalimia watu wengi sana kule. Yes. Unamfahamu chairman wa gospel hapa Kenya ama in Africa? Chairman wa gospel eh ya hapa wa hapa Kenya si ndio mm. eh ninamfahamu ndio ni nani <laughs> naweza sana for self proclaimed yeah right nikasema hivyo nimeharibu mimi sijui eh <laughs> unajua ni hiyo ni Janet Otieno amesema amesema eh, eh mimi mi, mi, pia nam kuna kuna chairman wa gospel uh, sijui kama ni self proclaimed lakini hivyo ndivyo anajiitaga Yes. Anaitwa nani? Anaitwa Gospel na anaitwa Ringtone. Eh. Yes. <laughs> okay jana juzi kulikuwa na event ya 100k party okay. ya Bahati. Okay. Then uh, Ringtone ali have ku attend the event because I mean ni, ni msanii Bahati ni msanii so alienda ku support. Mm -hmm. Then jana Bahati ina, ina post Instagram akasema mm. anamtambua chairman kama Gospel. So 
wewe kama gospel artist hapa Kenya Janet Otieno mm. umetoa hits mingi sana mm -hmm. unamtambua chairman i mean uh, ringtone apoko kama chairman uh, unajua ile ni ni swali ngumu hiyo umeniuliza lakini ni amekuwa aki akisaidia vizuri kuku na kule akiona kuna jambo inatokea kwa industry anajaribu kutatua kwa hivyo hiyo inampatia sehemu fulani ya ku, kupewa heshima fulani kwa kiwango fulani ndio mtumie message eh mimi namtumia message ringtone ya kwamba endelea kufanya kazi yako baba unafanya kazi mzuri zidi tu kushikilia pale pale si pia tunakupenda ndio tell about hizi uh, t-shirts nikiangalia wazi imeandikwa uzuri wako what's up Uzuri wako uzuri wako ni ni wimbo ambaye Mungu amenipatia niko karibu kuitoa na inakuja very soon. Na hata nime, imekuwa ni surprise kwangu kabisa. Eh, hey, okay. Uzuri wako. Nafikiri mnaiona sawa sio? Mnaona uzuri wako hapa? E, uzuri wako inakuja mwe tayari kabisa e, itakuja kuanguka very soon. Yes. Inakuja itakuwa kubwa ile. E, ndiyo kabisa. Wimbo yote ambayo tunafanya ya Mungu haiwezi kuwa ndogo, lazima ikuwe kubwa. Kwa hivyo hii ni kubwa, hii ni moja kubwa. Ndiyo? Oh. Mm. Wisdom ni kijana wangu ambaye ninampenda sana na uh, kwa kipindi ambaye tumefanya kazi kweli mimi nimeona ni kijana mzuri ila kwenye uamuzi na maamuzi ya kufanya kazi ya Mungu inakuanga ya mtu binafsi. Kwa hivyo kama ni uamuzi wake na maamuzi ambaye amefanya ni kwa kuwa kwenda kufanya kazi mahali pengine basi siwezi nikajaji lakini mimi kama mama ambaye anapenda watoto wake naweza nikamwambia asiende mahali pengine huku kwa Yesu ndio kuna kila kitu ukienda kando basi umepoteza lakini ninampenda ni kijana wangu mm. okay tukimaliza tunaelekea uh, actually ni campaign time kuna siasa zina come what's your message uh, my message to, to my fellow Kenyans na politicians ambaye wanasimamia hii inchi kwa miaka ambazo zimepita hapo nyuma Kenya tumekuwa na, na history mbaya na tumekuwa tukivurugana wenyewe kwa wenyewe haswa kwa wakati wa kufanya kwa kufanya campaign na kufanya elections mimi kama Janet Otieno nimetoka huku nje na naona amani na message ambayo inakuja nayo kwa wakenya ni ya kwamba to embrace peace aijalishi unapenda politician yupi aijalishi unataka kura yako iende kwa nani kitu ya msingi kitu ya muhimu sana ambaye niweza nikakwambia pale nje mkenya mwenzangu unanisikiliza ya kwamba embrace peace preach peace mimi kama hivi nimeingia nime nataka kufanya peace nataka ku preach peace kutokea leo mpaka mwisho wake nione ya kwamba message ya amani imefikia wengi na napenda kuongea na politicians wetu pale unapofanya kampeni yako tunakupenda tunawaheshimu sana jaribu sana kuelekeza watu kwa upande wa peace jaribu sana kuelekeza watu kwa upande wa amani tunapenda inchi yetu juzi nimeona wakati uh, inchi zilikuwa zinakuwa ranked kwa in, in, actually in the, uh, kwa kwa inchi kwa, kwa kwa dunia nzima Kenya was ranked number six kwa zile countries ambayo mtu anaweza enda ku visit ni kwa nini we have a beautiful country we have a very beautiful country na inategemea na sisi tutaitunza namna gani ninawaomba sana politicians wako pale nje tunawapenda sana lakini zidi mtufanyie amani wakati mnafanya uh, mnafanya uh, nini zenu campaign zenu wakati unaongea na your followers wafuazi wako kila mtu wako na wa followers wake please let's preach peace that is the message the indian nation nikapeana peace 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 imagine if every one of us would be preaching about peace ni nani anaweza kuleta vurugu hakuna si ndio so let's preach peace 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 na politicians peace your final remarks and a message kwa mafans kwa mafans naweza nikasema ya kwamba ninawapenda mmekuwa uh, part of my uh, kutembea kwangu kwa kufanya huduma na sichukui kama msaha maombi yenu imekuwa ya muhimu sana mmekuwa mkitembea nami kwa kila kitu ambaye ninafanya ninawaambia ya kwamba zidini kutuombea zidini kusapo
music that we do. Watu wanasema ya kwamba other countries they support their their singers, their artists sana kuliko Kenyans. I don't know how true that is. But kama ni true, naomba sana tuongeze mkazo kidogo. Let's support our our singers, let's support our artists. Let's support the music that they do, the music that we do, the music that tunatoa pale nje. Let's help support the good work that everybody is doing. Lakini ninawapenda sana. Nendeni pale kwa Facebook munitafute Janet Utieno House hiyo. Nendeni kwa Instagram muna follow pale at Janet Utieno KE na kila place niko kama Janet Utieno KE. Kuja kwa tukikuja pale kwa YouTube, the reason why nasema to support sana waimbaji, unakuta in terms of at a subscription na support ya uh, on YouTube haiko vizuri sana kama iko kwa tuseme for example kama Tanzania na other countries kwa hivyo tutafute pale una subscribe una support music ya wa Kenya okay. ni muhimu asante sana Janet okay. mm. yes uh, sorry dango nitakuuliza ni like sushi kidogo lakini mgeradi mm -hmm. wengi wamekuwa na ile dhana kwamba wasanii wa nyimbo za injili haswa ambao wanafanya nyimbo za kumtukuza Mwenyezi Mungu hampendani kabisa mnachuki leo hii hata ukitoa kibao utapata wale ambao watashare content yako kwenye platform zao ni watu tofauti sana na wale ambao unahudumu na wao unafikiria labda shida iko wapi ah uh, ni swali nzuri kwa kweli lakini nasema kila mtu wako na na moyo wake vile anapenda kufanya kazi na ku support each other mimi support naweza nikaisema nimeiona uh, kweli hiyo kitu ambayo unasema it's there but I, I don't know, uh, siwezi ni kasema sana kwa sababu on my side I share, na share kazi ya wengine, na support kazi ya waimbaji wenzangu. So on other people siwezi ni kasema, but iwapo, iwapo kuna kitu kama hiyo inaendelea, uh, naweza ni katuma neno pale inje ya kwamba watu, wasaidia ni washe nyimbo. Like, nikiangalia hata Nigeria, nikiangalia other countries, the way they support their fellow artists, their fellow musicians, is just on another level. I think if we embrace that as Kenyans, as singers wa kutoka Kenya, supporting each other, uh, each other's content without kujiangalia kama fulani atanishinda ama vitu kama hivo, we, we can go far na kufanya kazi ya mungu. And at the same time, this ministry that we are doing is not ours, it's God's. Unaona, mungu ametupea so uh, pale unaenda kuichukua inakuwa kama yako ya kwamba i want mind ndio ifanye vizuri sitaki kuona ya wengine utakuwa unafanya dhambi kama we ni mtumishi wa Mungu kwa hivyo mimi naweza sema watu wa support each other siwezi nikasema i don't know what is in people's hearts i don't know why they are doing that but uh, i think if we embrace each other we support each other's work and music it could be something amazing yeah okay thank you so much ma'am mm -hmm. any any swali yoyote mtu kama usiseme umefungiwa nje kabla <laughs> Mimi kiti ambaye nawania kabisa na muwe makini ninapo sema hivi kwa sababu naitaji hizo kura. <laughs> kiti ambaye nawania mwaka huu ni kiti ya kupeleka injili ya Yesu Kristo na kuhakikisha kwamba imefikia wengi. Hakikisha kabisa angalia kwa makini nataka watu wengi wakuje kwa Mungu, watu wengi wakuje kwa kazi ya Mungu na muokoke na mfanye kazi ya Mungu. Hiyo ndio kitu nawania this year. Na yes and peace peace nimeshasema na bado narudia kabisa peace 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 nime land leo kabisa na the message the most important message that i have today is about peace let's embrace peace mimi nasemanga kenya ni kama unaona ni kama mti mhm mm and sisi ni matawi na branches yeah right so imagine umekalia mti and then unaikata that branch unaipata unakata the branch unaenda kuanguka nayo chini that is the same thing ambaye sisi kama wa Kenya tunaweza kufanya we are going to cut the branch tunakata hizo tunatoa hizo matawi and yet tumekalia uh, the uh, one of the branches tukaanguka nayo chini so let's tuwe, tuwe makini sana let's tutunze hiyo mti yote na matawi zake na branches zake so that inji yetu ikae mzuri i'm telling you ukienda huku nje kule nimetoka people are really talking so good about kenya so imagine na hizo vita vidogo vidogo kama tungeacha i think we could be even number 1 who live wacha hiyo mali walituweka number 6 kwa kwa mwaka kwa kwa inchi mzima kwa i mean kwa world yote in the yeah Tuki, Tukiwacha these small, small things, I think tutakuwa ranked mali pengine pazuri. Otherwise, I'm so proud of Kenya. Let's make Kenya a great country and, and a beautiful country.
gari yangu hizi zimika Mombasa by the way uh, gari gari ya watu wote wenye wako hapa la si, lazima ziende vizuri so, unajua JO ameingia au, au unasema <laughs> gari haiwezi kuzimika JO amefika hapa saa hii hiyo haiwezi kutokea hapa saa hii vile nimeingia hapa sasa hivi haiwezekani chia lady yako hapa eh chia lady ame, by the way from today this is the chair lady gospel leo ni chair lady wa gospel so, ndio ringtone akishika pande ile nyingine mimi nashika pande hii nyingine so, unajua so mimi nasema ya kwamba kuna kuzimika kwa gari ila mafuta iko na bei even in the US nimetoka huko kila mtu analilia kuhusu mafuta sana lakini sisi watoto wa Yesu tuko vizuri Mungu ametubariki ametupatia amani ametupatia vingi hapa nakwambia baraka za Mungu zinanilemea umewahi kusikia mtu baraka za Mungu imemlemea mimi hapa baraka za Mungu zimenilemea niweshindwa niweke wapi kwa hivyo kimejaa kimejaa kinafurika tuko vizuri mm. ndio ndio <laughs> ulisikia uli, eh, 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 ulisikia hiyo hiyo wapi <laughs> kama aliiba concept yangu eh, mimi mimi ni na kuanga ni kama ni, mimi ni kama taa ukinikiwekwa pale kwa mlima na kuaga nikiwaka kila mtu ananiona kwa hivyo mtu yeyote anaweza anaweza kupenda whatever i'm doing and a lot of people are doing it actually nikifanya kitu wanaipenda wanaenda wanafanya pale nina furahi most people are doing it so hata kama yeye pia alifanya aliona hiyo hiyo ni nini mzuri hiyo concept ni mzuri ya hiyo ndege by the way i'm the first gospel artist ku shoot kwa hiyo eh, private jet ama chief tumulikie is it fungua light kidogo ama mnaona mnasemaje is it ama I'm, i'm not bragging i'm just saying the truth mnasemaje si mmeiona ni the first gospel artist kuimba kufanya kazi na hiyo private jet so but pia nafikiri Mungu alimteremshia baraka zake kwa wakati fulani nyuma yangu na akafanya yake na, na, na zote zote ziko na private jet which is just a good thing ni kitu mzuri tunafurahia wote lakini kama vile nimekwambia ama trend setter whenever nimefanya kitu nikifanya kitu kizuri everybody wanaona kama ni mzuri wanachukua wanaitumia so it's a beautiful thing wakuje tu ni natoa ingine mnakuja mnaangalia pale mnaona ni mzuri mnafuata mnafanya is it not a good thing kila mtu ngapenda eh ngapenda ngapenda hiyo kitu ngachukua ngaenda ngatumia <laughs> au niaje eh eh mmekaribishwa wote asante sana mama mm, mm, mm. kwa hivyo wacha ni sema shukrani ya kipekee Mungu awabariki sana kwa kukuja. I didn't know mtakuwa hapa by the way. Mmeamua kuni surprise. God bless you so much for coming. I really appreciate each one of you na kufika kufanya hii ikae kitu kizuri sana nimependa mimi mwenyewe. Na